Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, it's me Wayne again. Like and subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications. I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. Good morning everybody, it's me Wayne again. It is Wednesday. July 21st, 2021, and it's a hazy overcast today. Not real overcast, but really hazy. The fog was thick when I left the house. Before we get too far gone here, remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. If not, please subscribe to my channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. it means a lot to me and the future of this channel. Also, Ring that little bell for notifications so you'll be informed when I produce something new. And leave a comment below. I love hearing from my community. I don't normally do this in the middle of the week that much anymore. But I just felt like doing it today. Because I'm having a heck of a time. And this helps. This helps me a lot. Dating at my age, I'm 50. It's not that easy. And when you're a widow or widower, especially for us widowers, it's even more difficult. There's a stigma about widows and widowers that your prospective partner thinks they'll be competing with the ghost of your late spouse. That's not always the case, but it has happened. Also, the prospective partner they just need to listen and understand that we're still we're still human we're still normal we just hurt more we're dealing with we deal with stuff that non-widows and widowers don't deal with and a lot of people don't seem to understand that As for trying to use dating sites, that was a nightmare. I tried eHarmony, Match, Farmers Only, because I live in the country and own animals. You don't have to be a farmer to be on Farmers Only. You got to live in the country and have animals, be them livestock or pets. And I also tried plenty of fish, which was a big mistake. Yeah, I did the pay sites. I still, all I was getting in contact with, all I was getting in contact with me were the scammers, the catfishers, people trying to catfish me. First couple that I came across, I wasn't really for sure, so I went along with it for a little bit, then I realized it pretty quick. My suspicious, cynical nature helped me there. I'm overly suspicious of everyone, most everyone. And I'm very cynical. I don't trust anybody. Thanks to my late wife. And the way I've been treated by some people. <sighs> yeah, a lot of those dating sites these days are a joke. Because of all the catfish. Yeah, they'll go ahead and have pay accounts. Because... The return is better than what they spend. It sucks. It's really hard to weed out the bull crap from the real thing. I own, out of all four of those, and I was members of them a few different times, I did meet somebody once on eHarmony. It started out okay, but then in less than a few weeks, she was talking about marriage. And I don't know if I'll ever be ready for that again, because I've already been married twice. So I ran. I ran screaming. And plus, when her kids were around, it was great. We got along great, but it was just me and her. No, it didn't work so well. And that's when I ran. I know there's a lot more dating sites out of there, and there's a lot more scammy dating, site, dating sites out of there. But they've all got scams in them. It's really hard to find anything in those these days. 
Technology has helped us, but it hurt us as well. I was listening to a podcast or a video or something a while back talking about dating through the ages, using the old personals in the newspaper. The term catfish is new. The idea behind it is actually a couple hundred years old. Which is freaking ridiculous. It's making it easier for the catfish or the, or the people trying to catfish. I don't know what to do because I suck at dating. I always have. I was bad in the 90s and it's even harder now because of dealing with the stigma of being a widower. Sorry about that. Got in the sun. But it's ridiculous. And I seem to attract broken and damaged people. I'll get them fixed, get them pointed in the right direction, and then either they do something where I run, or, and I don't know if they do it intentionally, but some of them do, and some of them I just got scared on, which I apologize to anybody I did that on. And then the other ones, once I get them pointed in the right direction, they're like, I don't need you anymore. It makes it really hard when you don't like being alone. I hate it. I mean, yes, it has its advantages, but I hate it. And on the Facebook dating app, the only ones that seem interested in me lives 90, 100 miles away. And I'm not gonna do the long distance relationship crap again. Cause it didn't work the last time and it's, no. It can get too expensive. Well, everybody, I think I've rambled on a lot, rambled on enough about dating and dating sites that for a middle-aged widower who has a few mental problems, yes. Oh, widows and widowers have something mental. We have depression, anxieties, fears. For me, it's like everybody leaves me. More time than not, it was everybody leaves me. That was the way it was back before I got married the last time. So I've been married twice. But still, it's like everybody leaves. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. It hurts. It really hurts. And then this last one, I finally had to tell her, listen, I ain't, don't want to talk, don't want to text, because I need time. Yeah, I've got to process all this crap. Her texting me over the last weekend was really bothering me because it's hard for me to look at her in a different way now. Very hard. Almost impossible, but she don't get it. So I basically had to break off the communication just so she would, just so I can get my head out of my, you know what, get stuff figured out, baby. Well, everybody, I think this about does it now. Remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Remember, if you're a member of my community, welcome back. And if not, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me and the future of this channel, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, ring that little bell for notifications. And leave a comment below. I love hearing from my community. Well, it's me, Wayne, again. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. I'll catch you later. I'm out.